Question six. Here is a sequence of shapes. Each time a square is added to a shape, two more circles are added. So we've got the number of squares. So when there's one square, there's four circles. Two squares is six circles. Three squares is eight circles. It says the sequence of shapes continues. The formula for the sequence is circles equals two lots of the squares add two. Now there is another way of writing that. We could say if you start with the number of squares, you times it by two, so two lots of the number of squares, then you add two, and this gives you the number of circles. So it's the squares times by two, add two, gives you the number of circles. It then says calculate the number of circles when the number of squares in a shape is 150. Now the, this way of writing the formula will be very, very useful here because all we have to do is we know that the number of squares is 150. Here's the number of squares, so we stick 150 in at this end of the number machine, times by 2 is going to give us 300. And then add 2 is going to give us 302. So double 150 is 300, add 2 is 302. So there would be 302 circles. Now if we get a different colour and scroll down for the next bit, it then says how many squares are there in a shape that has 100 circles. Now this time we need to work in reverse. Because on the first question, we're told the number of squares, and we need to get to the number of circles. But now we're told the number of circles, and we've got to go backwards in reverse to the number of squares. And this is where this formula is going to help us. So what we're going to do now is going to rewrite that formula out. So we've got the number of squares times 2 add 2 equals the number of circles. But we know that there are 100 circles, so we can write 100 there. But we've got to go backwards to the number of squares. Now, when we go backwards, we have to do the opposite of what's written on these arrows. So to undo this add 2, we've got to take 2. To undo this multiply by 2, we've got to do the opposite, which is divide by 2. Now, all we've got to do now is to actually work that through. So we're starting with 100 and we're working backwards. So 100 subtract 2 is 98. And 98 divided by 2 is 49. And this gives us our answer. So there, if there were 100 circles, there would be 49 squares. So that's the answer that needs to go in there, 49. It's a good idea just to check with this 49 that it works into the original formula well if there were 49 squares 49 times 2 would be 98 and 98 adds 2 would be 100 which would get us back to 100 so it works so your final answers for the two questions are 302 circles and 49 squares